This is something that the Angular community has been waiting for for years. The desire for some kind of reactive input predates the existence of signals in Angular. For many years, developers have been requesting the ability to have observable inputs. But now with the 17.1 release of Angular, we will finally have the mechanism we have been waiting so long for in the form of signal inputs. We can now create inputs with the input function, rather than an input decorator like this which is already a massive improvement just from an API perspective, but the important part, at least for me, is that it allows us to react to inputs changing declaratively. Let's use the classic double count example. We might have an input that allows us to supply a count, but we want to create some derived value from that called double count. In a normal non-input scenario, this was already easy to do with signals. But if the original count was an input, we would have to use some kind of workaround like ng on changes or an input setter to react to the input changing. In this particular example, we use an input setter that will set a separate count signal every time the input changes, and then we can derive our double count signal as normal from this extra signal we've created. Not only is this extra work, but it also makes the code imperative. Our double count is derived from this count signal, but what this count signal is, is not contained entirely within its declaration. It is being imperatively set from somewhere else, in this case by this input setter. Signal inputs solve this problem entirely. We no longer need the workaround. The input is just already a signal to begin with, and we can derive values from it directly. There are other benefits of signal inputs too, and I'll link to a couple of articles in the description that explore the signal input API in more detail. But at least for me, this is the big deal, being able to react to input changes easily and declaratively. If you like this video, feel free to drop a like or subscribe before you go, and I hope to see you back here again for the next one.